Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these wine cork ornaments. Hey everyone, I'm Allie and so for our wine cork ornaments today, here are a few things you're going to need. You're going to need your Von Steel wine corks. I am making three different types of ornaments. So for two of the ornaments, you're only going to need one cork for each of them. And for the other ornament, you are going to need 11 corks. That is going to be the Christmas tree. So I'm going to make a Christmas tree, a snowman, and a little elf for these wine cork ornaments. You're going to need some brown paint, red, green, orange, black, and white paint. You need some hot glue, your paint brushes. I have here a larger one so I can paint the whole cork for that snowman um, completely white. And then I have a couple of these really small fine tip paint brushes to paint any of those details. I have some super glue here to help me attach the uh, to attach the ribbon at the end. Some scissors, green felt. You can use green or red. This is just going to um, make the scarf for the swimmer and also the hat for the elf. I have some green glitter. I have some little sparkly puff balls here for decoration for the earmuffs and for the top of the elf's hat. I have some red pipe cleaners that we will need. And lastly, some red ribbon here, which is going to be the string that will hang the ornaments on the tree. All right, so to get started, the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to cut one of the wine corks for the Christmas tree. I just need to make it a little bit shorter to make the stump of the tree. I don't want to use a full wine cork and that's gonna to be too long of a stump. So I'm just gonna cut that real quick. All right, so I have cut that wine cork, just made it a little shorter to make the stump of that tree again. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to two, the two other ornaments. So the snowman and the elf. And what I am going to do is I'm going to paint those so that they can dry while I am making my other Christmas tree ornament. So what I'm going to do with the first one is I'm going to paint it completely white and then let that dry. And the elf, I am going to paint half of the cork red. So we're going to make kind of a little suit for the elf. So half of it is going to be red now, and then we will let that dry, move on to the um, Christmas tree ornament, and then come back to these two afterwards. All right, so now I have moved the other two ornaments off to the side and we're going to work on that Christmas tree again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use 10 corks to make the actual Christmas tree shape, that triangle. So I'm gonna have a row of four, three, two, and then one as the top of the Christmas tree. And I'm going to glue all of that together with the hot glue gun here. And then we are going to attach that little cork that I cut at the beginning as the stump of the tree underneath. All right, so now I have that Christmas tree done. I have my triangle for the tree and the shortened cork for the stump. And all I'm going to do is paint the front of this green and then the stump brown. All right, 
right, so I have the other two ornaments here in front of me. I'm going to paint a second coat of the red just because I can still see through that red a little bit and I don't want that for the elf. Alright, and then I'm also going to put a second coat on the snowman. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the stump of the Christmas tree brown. Alright, so I'm going to make sure to let all of the ornaments dry really, really good. And then when we come back from that, we will add some more details to all of the ornaments. Alright, so now all of the corks are pretty much dry. So I'm going to go on to the next steps and paint a little bit more detail on them. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cork that I'm using for the elf ornament and I'm going to paint a green uniform over where the red is. Alright, I have that part done and now we are going to go on to the snowman. And what I need for the snowman is some orange paint and some black paint. And all I'm going to do on the snowman is I'm going to paint the eyes, mouth, buttons and with the black and then the nose with the orange. Alright, and there we have the little snowman. Perfect. And I'm gonna let those little details dry and we're gonna go back to the Christmas tree ornament. And now my next step for this ornament, after everything has dried, I'm going to put some glitter on the green part of the Christmas tree. I'm going to paint a thin coat of super glue over the tops, or what I want to be the front of the Christmas tree, the tops of the corks and then sprinkle the glitter over the top of that so it sticks. All right, and there we have a sparkly Christmas tree. I'm just going to make sure that any extra glitter is off of there. Perfect. And so you can add extra details to this if you so choose. I am going to add a couple of those little puff balls that you saw in the beginning of the video as little ornaments. Alright, so I have added some of those little puff balls as ornaments. And now I am just going to let that completely dry before we attach the ribbon on the back. Okay, so now my next step is to finish the other two ornaments here. So I have the snowman again, which I had just painted the face on. And what we are going to do for the snowman is that we are going to add a pair of earmuffs and a scarf to the snowman. So what I did was I cut a little piece of that pipe cleaner, red pipe cleaner before, and I made it so it fits perfectly over where like, the snowman's ears would be. And I'm just going to super glue that onto the snowman. All right, and then I have two little red um, puff balls here. I'm just gonna put those on the end of the pipe cleaner to make it look like the actual earmuff part. Alright, and there we go for that. And then the last step for the snowman is I'm going to take the green felt that I have here and I'm just going to put up one more section. And then I'm going to cut this into a thin rectangle for the scarf. All right, and once I have the right length for the 
scarf. I'm just gonna super glue it onto the snowman. Right, perfect. And there is our little snowman. I'm gonna let all the super glue completely dry before I attach the ribbon onto the back of him as well. And last but not least is our elf. So what I'm going to do for this little guy is I'm going to paint on a face for him. All right, so I have that done. And then I am going to add a little bit of green glitter to the front of his uniform as well. So as soon as this black paint dries, I'm going to put super glue on the green paint where I want the glitter to be. And then after that, we will attach a hat for him as well as the ribbon that hangs him onto the Christmas tree. All right, so now I just finished putting all of the glitter onto the elf body. So I'm going to attach a hat for him then. I just cut out a triangle out of a piece of felt and I'm just going to wrap it around his head and fit that on how it needs to fit to make a little hat. Alright, so I've put a hat on the little elf and I also attached a little puffball at the top of the hat. And finally, for the hat, I have another piece of a red pipe cleaner here that I'm just going to put around the bottom of where I have the felt to make it like a rim of the hat. All right, and there we go, there is the little elf. So I'm gonna let all the super glue dry for a little bit and then we'll come back and attach the ribbons onto the back. All right, final step is to attach the ribbon. All right, and all three of our ornaments are now done. You can make tons of different types of ornaments with your wine corks for sure. But make sure you stop into the winery to get any of your favorite bottles of wine or order online from us so you can pick up your favorite bottles and use those leftover corks to make some new Christmas ornaments for you as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.